गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद वसीम अक्रम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन माई वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज आई हैव बिन टीचिंग दिस कोर्स फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स सो कीप वॉचिंग द वीडियो लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल Usually, to show the effect of water content, we plot a graph between water content and dry unit weight of the soil. This curve is called compaction curve. Water content on x-axis and dry unit weight on uh, y-axis. What we see, the graph is. initially increasing up to certain limit after that it will start decreasing when the water content increases the curve or you can say dry density a dry unit weight decreases there are two tests we will discuss in the next lecture that is standard proctor and modified proctor same pattern will show in modified proctor also initially the when the water content increases the dry density also increases but up to certain limit after that it will decrease when the moisture content increases this curve is unique for a given soil type method of compaction and compactive effort the peak point of the compaction curve corresponding to the maximum dry unit weight is gamma d max the water content corresponding to the maximum dry unit weight is known as the optimum moisture content abhi hum kya dekh rahe hain ki jaise jaise hum water content increase kar rahe hain kya ho raha density bhi badhti ja rahi hai at optimum moisture content density is maximum after that ye kya ho raha hai density ghat ja rahi hai aisa kyun ho raha hai iske piche do logic hai aur do explanation hai as per proctor's explanation he explained the typical moisture content dry unit weight relationship with the help of lubrication theory what is this theory what is the idea behind this lubrication theory proctor explained the typical moisture content dry unit weight relationship with the help of a lubrication theory at low water content the soil is stiff and the soil grain offer more resistance to compaction as the water content increases the particle develop larger and larger water films around them we tend to lubricate the particles and make them easier to be worked around to move closer into a denser configuration resulting in a higher dry unit weight and lower air voids the dry unit weight continues to increase till the optimum moisture content is reached a stage when the lubrication effect is the maximum with further increase in moisture content however the water start to replace the soil particle and since gamma w is much less less than gamma solid the dry unit weight starts decreasing another explanation was given by lem in 1958 which uses the concept of soil structure and electrical double layer theory to explain the effect of water content on dry unit weight In the case of cohesive soils there is an attractive force namely the van der Waals forces which acts between two soil particle and a repulsive force which is due to the double layer of adsorbed water tending to come into contact with each other while the attractive force essentially remains the same in magnitude the repulsive force is directly related to the size of the double layer if the net force between the particle is attractive flocculated structure is the result if it is repulsive the particle tend to move away that is disperse lem explained that at low water content the double layer is not fully developed 
The repulsive force is small and the net force between the particles is, is a strong attractive force. This makes it difficult for the particle to move about when compactive effort is applied. At low dry, uh, dry unit weight, it, a, a low dry unit weight is the consequences. As the water content is increased, the dull, double layer expands and the interparticle reversal forces increases. The particles easily slides over one another and get packed more closely resulting in a higher dry unit weight. The double layer expansion is complete at the op optimum moisture content and that is why the dry unit weight is the maximum at that stage. Beyond the OMC, the addition of water does not add any further to the expansion of the double layer, but the water tends to occupy space which otherwise would have been occupied by oil grains, hence a decrease in a dry unit weight. Remember, lamps